What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you haven't noticed, by now, I have a very stupid mustache, and that's because last night I shaved, and I was like, hey, you know what would be funny? If I if I left the mustache on, and, um, and now it's here. I should probably shave it. But, Series 6 is coming soon, in a couple of days. I believe today's the 21st, so in like 9, 10 days, it will be September 1st, which means that Series 6 will be the official rules. And I figured um, today, since it's like the first day after the announcement, it'd be a good day to practice Series 6 on Low Ladder Series 5, where most people are practicing Series 6. Shodan hasn't quite updated yet, uh, updated it yet. And uh, there are some Series 6 single elimination tournaments happening in the Shodan room. So I'll be hanging out here today, uh, doing a couple of battles, trying out this team that I made. And yeah, do me a favor, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. Also join the Discord, link in the description. But yeah, oh, looks like we have our first match. So the match that we're, or the team that we're using is this team I was messing around with uh, that I think is actually pretty solid. It's around uh, Roselli Berry Camo uh, with Focus Sash, Defiant Basharp, Koba Berry, Bulky Amoongus with Struggle Bug and String Shock. We have an Assault Vest Zarina with Trop Kick, U-Turn, High Jump Kick, and Play Rough. The U-Turn is actually really nice. Um, we have a Physically Defensive Politoed with Icy Wind Scald Protect Helping Hand. And we have a Life Orb Kingdra, Timid Max Speed Standard Set. Let's go ahead and get into it. We're going we're gonna to go to our first tournament match here. Now, I might play like absolute garbage today because while I have been practicing a little bit, I haven't been taking it too seriously, you know, I want to I wanna see how uh, the team functions. So this is more of the testing phase of the team. It looks like it looks like we're facing a hard trick room team with no redirection, so I should actually be able to leave Basharp with Taunt here and being able to, to stop that in its tracks. Um, along with that, I feel relatively comfortable leading off Kingdra because it stops most of his trick room options. In the back here, I'll bring my Politoed to support. And I think my last Pokemon, it's kind of a toss-up between Zarina and Volcarona. I don't want to bring Kamoa here because it doesn't really do much. Um, Volcarona is going to be really nice for dealing with that Corviknight. Uh, however, Zarina could be really nice for hitting the... Um, well, pretty much everything except for the Arcanine and the Corviknight. <laughs> so I'm going to go Zarina here. I'm going to go Zarina here. So they do lead off Dusclops Corviknight, uh, which is actually really, really solid for me. What I'll do with this turn is I'll go for a Taunt. Since I'm Focus S, they shouldn't be able to stop me from going for that. Uh, and I kind of want to, I kind of want to muddy water because I don't want to waste my first turn of Dynamax. But I also don't want to get my, I also don't want to get like a, an accuracy drop on my Kingdra. So I'll just go for the raw Max Geyser into the Corviknight slot. There's the Max Geyser. They are Figgy Berry. Okay, I thought it was Citrus. There's the taunt. They shouldn't be able to trick room my face now, and because they are hard trick room, I don't expect them to be able to do much else. Here, I can actually just go for a uh, lash out into this dustclop slot, and they don't have any real switch-ins to a um, to a max geyser except possibly a raquinid. Um, and I don't know if I want to play. I don't know if I want to play around with that. Do I go for the? Yeah, I'll just I'll just max geyser again. We'll get rid of the Corviknight. This lash out should do a decent amount of damage. About half, yeah, that's beautiful. There's the Nightshade, they're going to get some chip on me. And there's the Gigalith. I'm um, not sure how I feel about that. Gigalith could max guard here, but he can't set up Trick Room, so what I'll do here is I'll go into my Politoed to get rid of his Sand. And I will just go for a max geyser into the Dusclops to remove it from the field, or whatever wants to come in. There's the Dynamax, he should max guard. Oh, he does not, okay, interesting. As he removes my poly, or he removes my, my boy from the field here, so I'm just gonna helping hand this um this muddy water. And even if he is weakness policy, I outspeed everything on his team with Zarina and Basharp, so I can as long as I don't whiff this, I should be good. You're kidding, right? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? <laughs> no freaking way! I just whiffed that, bro. You're you're messing with me. You, you're you're capping, bro. You gotta be capping, bro. Alright, um... Question, is that weakness policy on the Palisand or the, uh... Or the, uh, Gigalith? I would say... Probably not the Palisand. It's probably Gigalith, so... Man, let me helping hand this. Let me helping hand this, and I'll go for the, uh, Trop Kick into the Palisand. Bro! Bro, are you kidding me? <laughs> no way. Okay, all right. Here, here. We're not messing anymore. Are you Sandvale? He's freaking Sandvale. 
Oh my god. Yeah, we're not messing with you. Let me just double into this Basharp. Or double into the Gigalith. Because he shouldn't be able to... Man. <laughs> Bro, you're kidding me. Don't you miss. Don't you miss. You can't miss. You can't miss. We're good. Alright, and I am Focus Sash, so two Lash Outs should do it. GG, well played. Dude, you're kidding... Wait. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss. Oh, come on, man. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I don't even want to look at the odds. I really don't even want to look at the odds. Okay, we're good. Oh my god. Dude. Oh, I hated that. <laughs> Alright, we're ready. We're ready for the next one. Hopefully. Man. Man. Okay, this, uh, this is actually a pretty solid game for Volcarona. Yeah, Volcarona goes in on this team, to be honest. Um, it does a couple of things. So I have Struggle Bug to weaken everything, and I also have uh, String Shot to lower everything's speed. So even if the Talonflame goes for a Tailwind, I can actually just go for a String Shot. So I think it's in my best interest to... Hmm, I could do like Overcoat Kamo here. I could try Overcoat Kamo with Volcarona next to it. And that wouldn't be awful, I think. Zarina in the back seems pretty okay. I'm, I'm a little bit scared because they have quite a few, um... They have quite a few ways of dealing with the Volcarona. Like so many, actually. <laughs> I could also go with the Rain lead, but I don't know how I feel about the Rain. Hmm. I mean, I'm out speeding everything under the rain anyways. We'll, we'll just do the rain lead. Here, here's what I'll do. Um, I'll go Politoed lead, and I'll bring Zarina in the back in case they want to go for like a Gale Wings move. And I think my last Mon is going to have to be... I kind of want to say Bisharp or Volcarona. I think it's going to be Bisharp though. Er, mm. Uh, Yeah, Bisharp. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. So what I'll do here is I will go hard into my Assault Vest Zarina. And I'll actually just Icy Wind. Because that'll lower the speed of the Hydreigon. So when I bring back in my Kingdra, uh, I'll be able to outspeed it. And it'll also break t uh, Gale Wings on Talonflame. Which, honestly, I, I don't even know if I like. Because by breaking the Gale Wings on Talonflame, I can't block it with Zarina anymore. There's the Taunt. What was he expecting? What, what, what were you expecting, bro? I don't even know. Um, so we should go for a flying move here into my Zarina. I don't think it KOs. Especially since he's kind of slow now. Um, I could U-turn. I can also play rough. Ooh, I could Dynamax play rough, and that might actually fix everything. But I don't know if I want to Dynamax first. I'll go to Sharp, and I'll go for another Icy Wind. I think he's going to try to tar uh, target down the Politoed. There's the Max Wormwind, we get a Defiant boost. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's see if he doubles into this. He U-turns. Okay, so he's weakness policy? Alright, I'm fine with that, because you didn't even set up a Tailwind. Man, didn't even set up a Tailwind. Alright, um, and I'm at plus one. So I could just, honestly, Dynamax here. And remove this uh, Amoongus. I think I might do that. I think I'm going to try that, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, uh, because I am Focus Sash, I should take a hit, so I'm going to max Steel Spike the Amoongus and go for another Icy Wind. That's fine. That's going to remove the Amoongus. Even if he goes for the max Flare, I should be good to go. I mean, Talonflame could come back in, but Hydreigon is no longer an issue. Yeah, there's the Talonflame. Let me max guard here and go for another Icy Wind. Or actually, I kind of... 
I kind of just went with Kingdra, now that I think about it. But I also need Rain to win. <coughs> to win. Let me max guard. I'm going to sack my Zarina to get back in the Politoed. Because I just win with Rain now. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Alright, uh, let me get back in the Politoed. And I'll go ahead and... I can attempt a second max guard. It doesn't matter if I fail. In fact, it'd be better if I succeed. I believe that's how it works, the 30%. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> and uh, if I get in Politoed here, what'll happen is I, I end up with Sucker Punch pressure. And also, even though he's under Tailwind, he's at minus two speed. So I'll be able to outspeed with my Kingdra. And we do get the double max guard, which is phenomenal. Cool. Um, so he does have Taunt. I could just go for this Icy Wind and Sucker Punch into the Talonflame, because I'm assuming he's going to attack with the Talonflame this turn, whether it be U-turn or something else. I don't even want to bother Sucker Punch in the Hydreigon. I'd rather just remove Talonflame. Hey, there we go. And we're going to Icy Wind something, and we still have Sucker Punch pressure. There's the Pre-Marina. I'm cool with that. Oh, we miss. That's fine. That's fine. Let me Sucker Punch the Hydreigon. Uh, Zarina and everything else should just win me this match. So I'm going to Sucker Punch Hydreigon here. In fact, I could Helping Hand it and possibly pick up a KO. Oh, I can't Helping Hand it. Let me just Icy Wind again, then. <laughs> I don't know how much we're going to take from this Moonblast. Or actually, I could just Sucker Punch here and go hard Zarina. Uh, it's better if I keep the HP, now that I think about it. Because I have three turns of, of rain, I should be fine. Sucker Punch Hydreigon. Go for an Icy Wind. It's going to be doing a lot. He Hyper Voices. Picks up the KO. In comes the Kingdra and the Zarina. And I threaten that Primarina way too much for him not to want to attack. And I'm also faster. Um, this is actually a really tough call, because he's Life Orb, I don't think he takes a max attack drop kick. Hmm, depends how much speed investment he has, but I think he's going to be slow. I mean, I take everything from the Hydreigon, I'll just protect here, and I'll drop kick. Because I outspeed Hydreigon with my Zarina, so I can protect Trop Kick this turn, and then I can go for, um, like, U-turn into the, into the Hydreigon next turn. Because for all I know, this is a faster Pre-Marina, because I have, like, no speed investment on this thing. I'm, ba I'm 92. Like, with a Tailwind team, there's a good chance he has some investment. Yeah, there it is. He's faster. I get my Trop Kick off. Let's see if I live the hit. Draco Meteor. Beautiful. Alright, um, I should outspeed him in every situation, so I always... I don't want to muddy water here. He can't beat me with Hydreigon, so... And he also hasn't revealed Protect on the Talonflame. So my most accurate move, ironically, is Hurricane on the Talonflame. And I can just go for U-turn on the Hydreigon. Because I'm going to outspeed the Talonflame. Yeah, GG. That was a really rough game. That, that was difficult. <laughs> That was difficult, man. Alright, and we're facing Zordor. Yo, shout out Zordor, the guy I face in every freaking Showdown Room tournament. And he's running his patented Sandaconda, man. GLHF. Um, let me think here. This is a scary team. It's very bulky. It's very, very bulky. You made it through the RNG round one. Good luck, man. <laughs> okay, let me see. Um... Hmm. I mean, I'm not sure what he does with the um with the surfetched. It could be it could be pretty scary. 
I think actually one of my best plays is probably just go Kamoa mode with the Volcarona on the lead. That doesn't seem bad at all. Uh, Bisharp in the back, and I think my last Mon is going to be the Zarina here. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't have much for the Kamoa mode, and with Redirection, I'm actually not in a bad spot. I just have to be careful for Max uh, Gudra. Max Gudra could be a, a big pain in my butt. In fact, I might not even need to Rage Powder turn one. I could actually do something cooler. Ah, there he is. There he is. So I threatened the Bisharp pretty hard. Um, I could actually just go for... Anticipating him to predict me, I could just go for like a, a Heat Wave. I want a Clangor Soul, I really do. But I think he might just target into the Volcarone here, trying to get a double KO. I don't really need my Kamo to win. I just need it to remove the Bisharp, I think. And I should outspeed Bisharp. 134, 146, yeah. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go for the Drain Punch. And since he's going to be slower, it's safe to Struggle Bug here, just to break the Sash. So he's going to get a Defiant Boost, but I'm going to be faster, and I'm going to KO him. And we live. Beautiful. Ah, that's what I want to see, man. That's what I want to see. There's the Gengar. Alright, so here, um, I'm actually going to make a Goat play. I'm going to make a Goat play. Uh, he should go for like a Dazzling Gleam or something, I assume. I can go into my Assault Vest Zarina, now that I know these are both special attackers. Alright, I think Bisharp's my win con, to be honest. I, th I really think it is. Um, I could Struggle Bug again and just go for the Dragon Claw. Or I could even protect String Shot. I'll do that. I'll, I'll protect String Shot. Yeah, there it is. He's Life Orb, so we don't have to worry about being slower. There's the Dragon Pulse. Beautiful. And now I can go for Struggle Bug. Uh, here, uh, I don't lose to Gengar in any situation, so I'll just Dragon Claw into this slot. He has no switch ins, and I can Struggle Bug again. Support Volcarona is kind of clean, dude. Support Volcarona is kind of clean. How many, how many more do we have in this tournament? Where are we? I don't even know where we are in matches. We are somewhere in here. Oh, there we are. <laughs> All right. There's the Dragon Pulse. He's gonna knock me out. Doesn't matter too much. Uh, in comes the Bisharp, who. I'm kind of concerned that he may have surfetched, but my focus sash tells me I'm fine. I could go Zarina first, and then win with surfetched in the end. That might be my play. What move got? What move got um, messed up there? Or I could even just Dynamax the Zarina. I don't think it's a way of beating me if I Dynamax Zarina because it might be Sandaconda in the back. Yeah, I think we might have to Dynamax the Zarina. Let me max Starfall into the Gudra. Ooh, and we lost Struggle Bug. So I'm just going to Rage Powder here. Yeah, okay, I'm glad I did that. So we still have Rage Powder. Um, he shouldn't take this hit too well. And with Bisharp in the back, I think I can win. Let me go for this uh, max Starfall. I mean, a first impression is going to hurt, don't get me wrong, but I think it's my best bet. Um, I'm not concerned about Gengar, really. I'm going to go for a Heat Wave to try to KO Surfetched. It should do a lot. Uh, he, he's probably going to be faster with this Gengar, though. That might be a throw. I don't think it's a throw. Zarina can definitely take a hit. There's the Sludge Bomb. How much am I doing here? It's gonna hurt. Don't crit. Alright, cool. Alright, cool. Um, so that might be a roll. I don't think he has Protect on this Gengar. So, Sludge Bomb. Do you think he has Taunt? I'm very tempted just to double into the Surfetch slot right here. Because that might be how I win. 
It guarantees I KO the next turn, but I think I have to Sucker Punch Gengar to secure my win. Yeah, uh, I'm going to max Starfall again. I'm going to Sucker Punch the Gengar. That's fine, I think. As long as I don't get KO'd here. Yes, okay, we, we live, so I think we win. Because we still have Sucker Punch Pressure and a Focus Sash. GG. That was close. So here, uh, I can just Trop Kick Sucker Punch. No crits. Yeah, I figured you were crits. <laughs> I mean, you only clicked it twice. 50-50. And we get our Sucker Punch disabled. <laughs> okay. Next match. Ready? Ooh. We're almost in finals here. We're almost in finals. Alright. GLHF, and we see a Tora Cat here. We see a Tora Cat. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, um... So, I, I will admit that Lapras is one of the more annoying matchups. It, it really is. It, it truly is one of the more annoying matchups. Volcarona has to show up to the matchup, which makes it really sad. <laughs> Um, man. And I also can't guarantee I actually live the hit. I think for this matchup, I should lead off with Volcarona. I don't know how comfortable I feel with Kamo. I mean, because Kamo can do some damage to his team, but I have to support it correctly. We're, we're going to try it. We're gonna try it. Is that right? Oh, no, not Politoed. <laughs> so, Kamoa, Volcarona. Uh, Zarina in the back to prevent some priority. And also just to hit everything. And I think Bisharp. Alright, cool. That's what I expected. He should Tailwind up. To which my response is going to be. It depends who's gonna target, really. I, I wanna. I, I truly, truly want to go for. Um, my sticky web here. I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. Or not my sticky web, my string shot. Uh, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to string shot here. As you brave birds, I get my string shot. He blizzards, oh my god. <laughs> okay, uh, let me send in the Zarina to prevent that, and I'm gonna go ahead and struggle bug up. That would have been so annoying if he landed his blizzard right there. I feel like this mustache is giving me power. In comes the Zarina, avoiding the Brave Bird. Struggle Bug, we should take any hit from this Lapras now. That's Life Orb Lapras, so I'm just gonna... He should go for another Brave Bird, but I'm faster than him. So what I could do now is I could go for a second String Shot to um, prevent him from being faster. And try to knock out this Lapras with a uh, Trop Kick. This is a really tough match, I, I will I'll be honest. This is a very difficult match. I think I have to win with Kamoa. 70, 140. This one does more. Oh, we might have gotten him. Yes! There's the Tailwind, but they're still slower than me now, so I can go for a Heat Wave, and I can U-turn on this Talonflame. Heat Wave might miss, but I think it's still my best play. I'm also Koba Berry, so I take any hit from this Talonflame. Now he could sucker punch me, but I'm definitely gonna live it because I have a I'm a very bulky, very bulky boy, and he can't actually no he can't sucker punch because of Queenly Majesty. There's the heat wave to knock out the Urshifu. Big threat on his side of the field. There's the Brave Bird. I eat that up like Rhesus Puffs. 
you turn out. He is now very, very weak to Kamoa. He has very little answers. Yeah, we're going to send in the Kamoa here. I might have to Dynamax and just go for the Max Wormwind immediately if the Dracovish comes out. Yeah, there's the Lapras. Um, so I can Rage Powder here. And I can probably just Max Wormwind. Or even just Dragon Claw Rage Powder. And that would probably net me a win. Maybe I keep Volcarona in the back, actually. I know I have to Dragon Claw whatever's coming in here, because it's probably a Dracovish. Yeah. We'll Dragon Claw into this slot, and I think I might end up winning with Zarina. No, I'll just struggle bug. I'll just struggle bug here. He can't stop that. Oh wait, he does have Tailwind. I'm an idiot. The man's got Tailwind. I'm stupid. I forgot about it, but I also didn't waste my Dynamax, which is really good. That, that's really good. There's the Dracovish. Um, hmm. I think I have to win with Bisharp. But I don't like it. I most certainly do not like that. Go for this Protect. He should target into Kamoa here. Hmm. I completely forgot about the Tailwind and that was a huge throw. Don't double. Don't double into me. Man. Alright. So I'm faster than both of these mons, I assume, now. I can take a hit from the Lapras. But not the Dracovish. I'm going to max Wormwind. And I have to take a hit on Zarina. I hate that. Well, I jump kick into Dracovish just in case it lives this hit. Okay, good. Ah, oh, I see it ends up being faster, but I think we might just win. It's going to be really close. I have to max Knuckle. And Trop Kick. But because I'm faster with my... Oh, Zarina's the slowest thing in the field. That's actually not good. No, I think I always win. Yeah. GG. That was really close. Lapras is a super tough matchup for this team, but we're going to have to face it a lot. Alright. So. Ready up. Is this finals? It might be. No, it's semi-finals. Okay. So this is actually a, a matchup I prepped for pretty hard. Uh, Bisharp always comes out in the lead here. And so does Volcarona. Now, Volcarona is EV'd in particular to be able to go for a, um, a struggle bug and take whatever hit we need to from that poor Yanzi. I have to bring Zarina just in case they end up going fake out. And I think this is a Kamoa game as well. Alright, so they end up going with the Persian play. Uh, what I do here is I go Zarina and I Struggle Bug. Or actually String Shot. That's the play. Or no, it's Struggle Bug, then String Shot. It might just be String Shot. I forget. Let me go Zarina. I forgot. This is actually a matchup I didn't prep for the, the Persian matchup. So if I Struggle Bug, I get minus one on the Porygon, which is huge. And he should be targeting into Volcarona, and I'm going to be faster next turn anyways. But the Persian's going to be faster than my Volcarona and knock me out. I think I just struggle bug. Oh, I see Icy wins. No. Not like this. Okay, that's fine. Struggle bug comes out. He can't knock out my Volcarona now. 
Um, he made a really good call there, though. Very, very good call. I think I just let Zarina go down, and I go for my... Or he should max strike. So I think I bring in Bisharp here, and I attempt a string shot. Or actually a struggle bug makes the most sense, probably. Nah, string shot. It makes me faster. There's the Icy Wind. Hopefully he doesn't knock me out because I'm going to get a huge Defiant boost. Yeah, there we go. Times 3 attack. There's the string shot. This Persian is now the same speed as my um, Sharp, which is kind of annoying. And foul play would hurt really, really bad. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to Dynamax Max Guard. And I'm going to sack Zarina here to get in Kamoa for free. I think that's my play. Because Kamoa is more important in the endgame. And now I can Rage Powder. Now I can Rage Powder away the hit from the Urshifu. And just go ahead and go for my... I think from this range, it's probably a KO. <laughs> or actually, now that I think about it, I might just have to target the Porygon Z here, because he has nothing to hit the Urshifu really hard. Or the, the Kamoa really hard. He really doesn't. And neither of my moves are probably going to knock him out. I'll just Steel Spike up and follow in Rage Powder. Cool. So I can get rid of the Persian. It's the Aqua Jet. And he gets burned. Incredible. So now I should be able to go for my move. I'm going to go ahead and go for another Steel Spike, this time into the Urshifu. And I'm going to try to Clangor Soul, because that might be how I win here. There's a Quiver Dance? Yeah, that was a good play. We take the hit. This should knock him out now. We get our Clangor Soul off. Get a Defense Boost, knock out the Urshifu. We always outspeed the Porygon Z. And we have a Sucker Punch for this Volcarona, so I'm going to Sucker Punch here into the Volcarona slot. If it keeps boosting, it doesn't matter. But I can go for a Drain Punch into the Porygon. That's fine. Drain Punch into Porygon should KO. Yep. Good game. Because now I have so much pressure, I, I can just spam Sucker Punch Dragon Claw. Ah, beautiful. Alright. Thank you. Alright, so we made it to finals, boys. We made it to finals. Am I going to win a, uh, a tournament room? This isn't like a huge tournament. I mean, it was, it was a decent sized tournament. Look at the size of this thing. But it's it's a best of one tournament. So don't mistake this for um, an actual tournament. This is just like a little online, off-the-cuff tournament. I'm excited. I'm excited. I like this team a lot though. I think the um originally I was struggling a lot with like Lapras and stuff, but I think after switching this this Volcarona to pure support, um it's it's been helping out a lot. Ooh, okay. Okay. This is probably the toughest matchup, but I always lead off with what I've been doing. Come on, Bisharp, Zarina, this is this is like the matchup that I've struggled with, so if I can get past this, I think I can win pretty much anything with this team. Let's turn on the timer for the pressure. <laughs> I perform better under pressure.
Use the Kumfei, the Gudra. Alright, so I know exactly what this is. Uh, this shouldn't be too bad, actually. I can go ahead and struggle bug up. And go for the Bisharp here, because they should go for the Dragon move. And I'm going to get a Defiant boost. They Dynamax, they should kiss their boy, Giga Drain. Oh, they're Sap Sipper. Okay, that is not exactly what I wanted. I do get that boost, though. You know you know, I get that boost, though. <laughs> we get plus one attack. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Hmm. Nah, the weakness policy is going to be on the Lapras. If he's a physical attacker... I think it's in my best interest just to string shot up. And go for this Iron Head. Maybe not. Maybe I Rage Powder away in Iron Head. I'll do that. Because he might give me another Defiant boost. That still hurts him. That still hurts the boy. I'm just going to do it again. Rage Powder, Iron Head. And now we know that we're faster. Oh no, we're not. Are we? Yeah, I'm faster. We'll just do it again. I don't care if he ally switches. This is actually still my best play. Draining Kiss wouldn't knock out the Bisharp either. Apparently when Lapras and Gujar are both in the same party, we can spell St. Lapras. Yeah. Ooh, that doesn't knock him out, though. In the Trick Room, man. Um, I still haven't wasted my Dynamax, though, which is super, super solid. I can Sucker Punch. And this prevents any priority moves on his side of the field. Hmm. This might be a game where I Dynamax my freaking Zarina. I think so. Let me do this. Uh, I can Sucker Punch the Gudra. And also go for a max Starfall, which should cover all my bases. As the ally switches, which is annoying. How slow are you? I should be slower than the Gudra, so my max Starfall is going to hurt. Yeah, he's not minimum speed. Ooh, that's annoying. Hmm. Dragon moves are cut now. So I think it's safe to... Do I max Knuckle here or do I max Overgrowth? I don't want to get rid of the Dragon Resist. I'll max Knuckle and I'll Protect. Get an attack boost. He should target into the Kamoa here. I would assume. There's the Fire Punch. He doesn't do too much. And now Max Overgrowth is nice. Into the Clefairy. I could even try to Clangor Soul here. Ooh. This might be a throw. But I'm going to do it. This might be a throw, but I'm going to do it. Fire Punch won't knock me out. I get my Clangorous Soul. I can protect this next turn, and I still have one turn of Trick Room. There's the Lapras. Mm, this is an uphill battle. Let me go for this Chop Kick. I suppose I always target down the Gudra here. Gudra hasn't revealed Protect yet, so it's likely Assault Vest. Parish Song, okay. That's gonna knock it out. GG. Dragon Claw should pick up a KO. Yes! Mmm! Won a tournament. Won a tournament, dude. You definitely misplayed? I might have misplayed, dude, but we got the Clangorous Soul Clutch win. Oh, man. If you're wondering why I'm not Soundproof Kamo, um, I'm Overcoat because it helps out with Rage Powder and stuff, since there are a lot of Rage Powder users this this uh, season. 
So that's gonna be the video, guys. Uh, we went undefeated in this uh, little showdown room tournament, testing out Series 6 Kamal. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Leave a like for this hype freaking video, honestly. It was great. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice night. Bye.